Hey everybody, Will Fix here. Got another video for you today. Will Coinbase and XRP take on the SEC together? Wouldn't this be kind of epic? Well, there's some interesting news about the possibility of this is very, very real. Let's take a look at that in today's video. First, let's take a look at a few things. XRP is at 53 and a half cents. A lot of the charts are reading bullish for XRP. Let's hope that that's what we see is some money come into this project. Quant's holding at around $68.66 right now. It's fluctuating about a dollar, but seems to be pretty steady for the day. Let's see what CFT is doing. Sorry, CTF. <laughs> So Crypto Trading Fund is being listed all over the world. Um, several exchanges, they just got listed on LBank, following by being listed on MEXC. Uh, they've been giving away some rewards, so they're making some moves. Uh, this coin's growing. It's, uh, what, about nine months old right now, and it's grown and grown and grown. I think one of the steps we're looking for with um, this particular program is to, to bridge the Polygon and the XRPL coins where they're the same price. I don't know when that's going to happen, but that is on their agenda to bridge these. And uh, let's hope for some listings like on Coinbase. That would be nice. But this project is moving. I see movement, which is good. And um, we'll see what happens as this gets more and more developed. Right now is a good time to get into this particular coin. It's the lowest that I've seen it since I first got in it. Looks like right now it's at 64.92, so we're right at 65 cents. And you can look at the seven day, it's been declining. This is a good purchase zone for you. If you own crypto, you need a self-custody wallet. I've chosen the Decent Wallet after owning several different wallets. I believe you will like it too. Use the link in the description. Purchase from my site. It does help support the channel. I appreciate it. Hey, I don't know if you saw this, but this is kind of a turn in the case. Um, look at this. Ashley Prosper posts. Um, if the Coinbase motion for inter- logatory appeal is granted, what are the chances that Ripple and Coinbase ask the Second Circuit Court to consolidate both cases into one proceeding? Is there any chance that this has been discussed already? Of course, then it shows a picture of the two culprits right there uh, of Coinbase and, of course, Algarotti. So let's, let's look at this. She tags onto there. Um, XRP at Coinbase has asked the judge in its case to certify its interlocutory appeal so that it may present its case to the Second Circuit alongside Ripple. Together, both cases would give the Second Court a comprehensive view of the SEC's unlawful approach to crypto. I believe it'll be granted, she says. And then here's the letter where they're asking for the same. I noticed in some responses that, uh, look here, absolutely massive if the second court allows it, BC says. And she responds, I don't mean that they would be representing the case together. I mean that they would be able to present their case at the same time as Ripple. Caleb asks, what does this mean? It means if the judge grants Coinbase's motion we will have both the Ripple and Coinbase cases in the Second Circuit moving at the same time. This would allow the Second Circuit to see exactly how inconsistent the SEC has been in its application of the Howey to digital assets. Now, we still don't know the basis of the appeal, but it's probably on all points that are possible that they'll probably appeal everything uh, you know, so that each matter has to be, that's in light of the idea uh, that many of us have, that they're just trying to drag this thing out. So, so we'll see. But it's an interesting turn, isn't it? Another thought that I saw Zach Rector bring up, which I thought was interesting, 
in a video uh, maybe two days ago that the damages case that you heard Deaton speak of, as in suing the SEC for damages, the damages have doubled, haven't they? So they've created more damages. So that would be a very interesting case to win against the SEC for all of us that hold XRP would receive, I guess, a little piece of that pie of the losses that are projected if that was to go forward and, and, and to win, which is probably unlikely, but it is a thought. Um, now, many of the XRP charters, people who are charting XRP, are showing a lot of bullish charts. Let's take a look at a few of those. I'm going to call him Aminix. <laughs> Here's a, he's posted just a chart that it, when you see here, it's a historical chart showing where uh, what the past has done and where it jumped, what the past has done. And this is a measured move that's anticipated to be, you know, if we follow the same uh, reaction and people generally follow the same reaction as far as retail is concerned, as far as a retail move, not institutional money getting on the move, but as far as, uh, as, far as retail money getting involved, charts are viable. So this particular pattern would show us having a pretty significant increase. So we can hope for that. There's a couple other charts. Let's look at another one. Now, Brett is claiming it's going to be one way or the other. That's always the case, right? I mean, we could get on here every day and say, guess what's going to happen today? It's either going to go up or it's going to go down. <laughs> so Brett has XRP support holding firm at 53 cents resistance, still as stubborn as a mule. Enter either the bulls or the bears are in for a surprise soon. So look at the, the bigger chart here. You can see where every time we get down around 52, 53 cents, we have been bouncing off of that. So this has established itself over the last several months as a support level. And we can see resistance here at about 64 cents. So it is going to go one way or the other, isn't it? <laughs> That's not a revelation, is it? And here's random crypto pal showing back then versus now. And look at this similarity of the price pattern here. We, we almost have the same pattern exactly. So if it's going to follow that pattern, why wouldn't it follow this big giant retail run right here? So probably so, because we're going to have a retail run. We're going to have a bull market. The consensus on that is pretty heavy and strong. So we're really waiting for a retail run. And what are you guys going to do? Some of you hold multiple coins. I hold meme coins. I hold several different coins. I have chosen to have certain coins that if they explode in this bull run that's coming, that I will sell off into the strength and then I will buy more of the 20022 ISO coins. <laughs> I'll buy more probably XRP, XLM, HBAR, XDC, um, uh, ADA, several of the, of the ISO coins is probably what I'll do if the meme coins and some of my other altcoins really uh, just really take off and run. Um, what coins do you hold? Do you have a plan for this bull run to invest deeper into XRP? Um, and do any of you trade XRP where you're in and you're out? Also, I want to check out some DeFi stuff. People have been asking me about how to earn money, you know, with uh, some DeFi and getting some return uh, from their XRP through different methods. There's all different kinds of methods. You know, this money that you have invested can earn you some. Um, I'm a little leery of that, but I could take a percentage of mine and do that and maybe bring you guys along with me. So give me a consensus. Let's see what you think about that as a poll. If you're interested in DeFi investments with your XRP, put a one in the comment. If you're totally opposed to that, put a two. But let me know in the comments so that I will know if we should move forward and then we can follow along in each video on a daily basis and kind of see what that does. 
So if you're interested in it, let's let's do it. But uh, if not, we'll, you know, put that to the side. Hey, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next video.